you are live! Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and now I'm testing Dirt 5 on the RTX 2060. How are you guys doing? It's been like 10 minutes. So as you can see here, I'm using a single fan 2060, I'm already at 48 degrees. <laughs> so let's put the fan speed on 85. Hopefully RTX boys can suppress that noise. Okay, it's suppressing some of the noise. So happy to be able to. Perfect. How are you guys doing? Good seeing you. It's been a while. <laughs> said no one said no one ever. So anyways, let's get straight into the game now. So we're doing let's crank this up to 90%. <laughs> Whatever. And we turn off MSI afterburner because the game crashes if I enable it. So great stuff. I don't see I don't see the chat. Maybe the chat is not working. Yeah, it seems to be working, so maybe nobody's typing. Yeah. Oh okay, there you are, there you are. Commandan, what is it all him? Kise what is it? Solema, commandas, todo bien amigos. Looking good? Well thank you. Thank you, sir. I try, I try. <laughs> This game is going to flop very bad. Well, if they fix the performance with variable rate shading, maybe they can make it a little bit better for themselves and the game's reputation. But it's running terribly bad, yeah. RTX voice works like a charm for me, but sometimes voice cracks. Yeah, true. I agree with that. I lowered the strength of the um, of RTX voice a little bit, the noise reduction, because I saw some crackling at times. But uh, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not hearing the, the fan from the PC or anything like that, so perfect. I'm waiting for the game to launch, sorry about the delay. It's, it takes a while for the game to launch. Also, thanks to Codemasters for providing a copy of the game, despite what I'm saying about it. But I, I need to tell you guys how it is at the moment. The game is not running well. If you're aiming for 30 frames, you can get away with it. Then if you have something like an AMD card, you're going to run into some extra issues on the performance and nvidia cards are running it pretty well it runs better on nvidia so far despite being an amd sports sponsored title which is kind of hilarious but yeah the first time you launch the game is going to be taking a little bit of time bear with me probably going to try it from the start yeah the game apparently is locked here Never mind, there it is. Hopefully it doesn't close. Oh yeah, I messed up. No, I didn't. All right, excellent. Let's see the frame rate now. Oh no. All right. So here's the frame rate. Let's turn off this stuff. Come on, let me skip. What the heck, game? Back, what time is in your city? In my city, um, two twenty-one p.m. Like defrosting after a five-lap race in Norway. Anyway, so let's go directly on the highest settings. Hopefully, we have enough VRAM for that. So highest settings, ten eighty p. And let's hope for the best. Hopefully, it runs well. All right. So ultra settings, ten eighty p. Let me disable myself here. <laughs> I, what I mean by that is remove my camera for a second. You can see the settings, everything maxed out. Dance, dance, dance. No, I'm not dancing. I'm not a good dancer, actually. So <laughs> anyways, let's go directly into what we were playing a second ago. Do you have an Xbox Series X? No, I, I don't have any console, any new console at the moment. <laughs> Whoa. These numbers are huge. Oh no. Uh, one second. <laughs> Dang it. Center to the screen. Hold up. Gotta move this. <laughs> yeah, the, I lost the frame rate counter in the edge of the screen. That's why I was struggling a little bit. Sorry about this, guys. There we go. A frame rate counter. Let's see how it goes now. So we're getting mid-40s now. 
Remember this is the highest settings. Okay, on the highest settings we're getting 30 frames per second. <laughs> on a 2060 remember that on ultra settings this game the performance in this game is pretty bad probably video memory limited we only have six gigabytes of memory <laughs> yeah 30 frames per second there we go so if you want to play on ultra settings you can do so at 30 frames so do not worry at least you can do that. I'm going to show you how to get 60s, probably lowering three things in the options menu. Gracias Tom Black 98 lo, lo ajusté ahí, te agradezco un montón. Pero... Pero sí, 30 FPS en Ultra, as you can see, 30 FPS on Ultra. <laughs> ultra settings. I know that there are a few settings that destroy the frame rate, so... Let's fix the performance, so... To make the game run well, what you need to do... First, let's disable my camera. You need to lower geometry to high. Shadows too high, volumetrics too high, and global illumination too high. This, oh, I put this on medium. So with these settings, you should be getting 60s. We'll see. So status, ultra settings, and what else? Um, ultra settings, ultra to high settings. Let's call it like that, so I don't write a lot. So high to ultra on 1080p. Let's restart the, the race. And as you can see now, I'm getting much higher frame rates, basically double the frame rate. Also, the Ryzen 3 3100 should be limiting us in the CPU side on the ultra settings. That's probably why we get 30s. So if you do high to ultra settings, you're getting basically 50 to 60. This will be the resolution and frame rate I will play in the game at. Yeah, those cars were waiting for me, I think. Let me see, if I stop my car... No, they do not wait for me. <laughs> they do not wait for me, Mark. Those cars, I think those crashed. So they stayed on the side. Oh man, it's so difficult to drive looking at the OBS window. Hang on. How much F FPS on Xbox Series S or Series X? Oh, I'm wondering, how are the consoles, the actual gen consoles, the PS4 and Xbox One, non-enhanced? How are they running this game? It's probably running pretty poorly. I don't know really, but... Uh, would be interesting to know. Yeah, that car was waiting there. Yeah, they're using the respawn ability. That's why they were stuck there. Mark. Mark 13. So right now, this is how you get 50 to 60 FPS. Basically, use high to ultra settings. This is how you get it. For some reason, dynamic resolution hasn't been working for me. Let's see. Yeah, doesn't seem to be working at all. Let's see if I put this on dynamic. Yeah, it runs basically the same. Let's see if I put automatic. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything at all. So <laughs> let's go back to native. So 1080p, 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 and well, if you want 50 to 60, use this, a mix between high and very high, as you can see right here, a mix of those, and you're getting 50 to 60. Let's try high settings, let's see if that changes anything at all. Probably we're locked to 60 on this one, so high settings now. Let's use that. So on the 2060 high settings, 1080p instead of ultra, they're around 120 frames per second at settings similar to PC low and dynamic resolution. Really? On the next gen consoles or on the new gen consoles? Or, or, or this gen? If next gen is running this on low settings, <laughs> I'll be shocked. Probably they are running it on high settings or something. And the actual gen consoles, probably low settings, but who knows. So yeah, as you can see guys, high settings makes more sense, still drops into the 50s, but at least you're getting a more consistent frame rate, close to 60 frames. But I'm surprised that a 2060 is needed to do high settings 60 FPS. That's kind of ridiculous if you ask me. It should run a lot better than this. Considering, again, some people were mentioning in the chat, Forza Horizon 4 is an open world racing game, and we're not getting these problems. 
with the performance. It's running a lot better than this, even on a, 7, on a 1050 Ti it runs like this on Forza Horizon 4. Staying the menu won't do much. Yeah, I know, I know. Do not worry. But when you're in the menu, you can see the performance difference in real time. The dynamic resolution did nothing. I mean, yeah, saying the menu doesn't do much. Yeah, of course. I mean, here it's enabled. Look at that. It's enabled. I disable it. I'm still basically 50 to 60. It's the same. Doesn't do anything at all, the dynamic resolution. In the options menu, it changes in real time. You don't need to unpause the game. And I already tried unpausing the game on my previous videos with dynamic resolution. And there was no changes. Not, no changes at all. Maybe the option is broken. Who knows? I mean, maybe the option doesn't work and that's fine, I guess, but <laughs> I mean, I tried everything and it doesn't work with dynamic resolution. It's that's the same. It's not that far from 1650 Super. I mean, not that far. Yeah, you would say so. Maybe we are CPU bound. Who knows? It's not that far away. True. Maybe 10 to 15 FPS more, which is a good boost. But there's no RTX, there's no variable rate shading yet, so probably going to change. Let's try... Whoa. Let's try lower settings. Let's see the maximum frame rate we can get on this PC, now that we are here. So, lower settings at 1080p. As you can see, I already got a boost into the hundreds. So, let's see how it goes once we're closer to cars. ¿Qué función cumple la Dynamic Resolution? Se supone que cambia la resolución dinámicamente para que tengas muchos FPS. O sea, te baja la resolución en tiempo real. No está funcionando. So, guys, on the lower settings, you are getting basically 90 to 110 FPS. Something like that. So, yeah, if you want 100 FPS, this is how you do it. I don't have a 144Hz display, so I cannot see the hundreds of FPS, but... Is variable rate shading DLSS? No, it's not DLSS. Variable rate shading is a technology that changes the, the quality of the shaders in real time, depending on what you're looking at. So, if something is not in the middle of the screen, or you're not uh, pointing the camera of the game directly into that object, and at what distance you are from that object, It'll change the it will lower the quality of the shaders so the game uses less resources and doesn't render unnecessary stuff that you're not paying much attention to so basically it will, it will change the quality of the shaders in real time depending on where you're looking at to use less resources you can see that in wolfenstein 2 in wolfenstein 2 yeah the new colossus they have that option on doom i think it is on doom eternal it is as well i think no, on Doom Eternal you do not have that option, but you get a performance boost if you have that. So probably when this game has that, we're going to get 144, who knows, maybe. So yeah, let's try now 1440p, now that we're here, 1440. Literally looks the same on Ultra and Low, the same, well, not exactly the same, you get a lot more grass on Ultra settings. A lot more grass, so <laughs> again, I, I guess that's the difference. And the, I mean, there's a lot of differences. Also, the shadows are way better in the distance, especially. So let's do 1440p lowest settings first. Then we see what we get and we tweak. So 1440p lowest settings. Thanks, Stamp5. Yeah, I tried to be as clear as possible with VRS. Okay, so on the lowest settings, at 1440p, we're getting over 60 frames, 60 to 80. So, not bad. Probably medium settings will be 60 frames per second. Let's play a tiny bit like this. Yeah, the consoles, the next-gen consoles are great hardware at the moment, considering the price they are at. But at the same time, remember, this happens every time a new console releases. The PC has uh, is more expensive. Well, it's always more expensive in some way. It really depends on what you do, if you're going to use parts. But after some time, Nvidia and AMD need to compete with the consoles, so they're going to release some cheaper graphics cards on the low range that compete with the, with the consoles. So we're not there yet. 
probably in around six months, six months to a year, we're going to get new cards that compete with the Xbox Series X, Series S and the PS5. So just be patient, we're going to get cards that are better than what we have now. So do not worry, eventually we're going to get good hardware to compete. But at the start it's always, the consoles always get an edge the first six months to a year over PC. So yeah, anyways, let's do medium settings. Let's see if we can get 60s on medium. Okay, medium seems to be 60 frames. Can you use bad weather? Yes, I'm going to do that later. Right now I'm trying to find the best preset and then we do... And then we do the, the rainy parts. That's a good point. I forgot about that, Mark. Thank you, man. You're saving my life lately. Anyways, medium settings, 1440p. Let's go for it. Yeah, I'm looking forward for the 3050 Ti as well. It's going to be interesting. So with medium settings at 1440p, we're getting 50 to 60, basically. When effects show up, we drop into the 50s. But then when you're driving, yeah, mid 50s, basically. Best case is 60, best, bad, worst case is 51, 52. So probably keep it on medium, maybe lower shadows to low. But I mean, the game looks decent enough to be 60 frames at 1440. So probably keep these settings if I was playing at 1440, personally. Medium settings for 60 frames, not that bad, considering the numbers we've been getting. Looks pretty good. Again, considering what we're getting, the game is running pretty poorly, in my opinion. So yeah, play Witcher 3. I already have many videos playing Witcher 3, <laughs> so no thanks. <laughs> Not right now. I already finished The Witcher 3. It's such a good game, man. If you haven't played The Witcher 3, guys, play it. It's an amazing game from 2014, I think. So, all right. Nice lap, 51 to 70 FPS. Let's see if high changes much. It's going to probably kill it. Okay, on high we're still in the mid 50s, as you can see. Probably going to drop into the 40s here. Not really, we're still into the 50s. Uh, okay, we drop a slightly into the 40s, so... If you care about visual fidelity, put it on high. Let's try the highest now, let's kill the PC. So we're going to be doing Ultra. Si, si, voy a poner 4K, después sale 4K, Sabelio. I'm going to do 4K after this one, guys, be ready. It's going to be a pain in the 2060s uh, fan. All right, so this is 1440p Ultra settings. We're getting 30 frames per second. As you can see from high to Ultra, we, miss, we lose like 20 frames. And also, if you guys remember, this is the same frame rate I was getting on ultra settings on 1080p, so it hasn't changed that much, really. If you can remember, when I put 1080p, I was uh, limited to 30 FPS, basically limited. I was getting 30 to 35 FPS. At 1440p, it runs almost the same on ultra settings as on 1080p. That's probably because we are CPU limited with ultra geometry and the video memory usage is probably insanely high. That's probably why we're getting the same performance. <laughs> but yeah, the, the performance here is super strange. Considering the, the boost in resolution in pixel count. Whoa. This time we have no VRAM limitation. Well, we have 6GB, but probably on ultra settings, the video memory goes up to 6GB, I think. Maybe we're not uh, VRAM limited. But I mean, by just putting shadows on ultra, it already kills the frame rate, no matter the card I'm using. So, But I'm surprised because it runs almost the same as 1080p and I have 33% more pixels. And it runs almost the same. That's super weird. CPU bottleneck? Yeah, maybe. I think so. On ultra geometry, we're probably CPU limited. The thing is, I cannot see the CPU usage right now and the GPU usage because MSI Afterburner doesn't work with this game running at the same time. So we're basically screwed. 
at the moment. We can use a task manager, maybe. I'm going to try that later. But yeah, after I get a little more ahead in the race, we're doing 4k just to kill the card. Let's do it. It's going to be fun. So yeah. Anyways. I mean, it's strange to me considering all the games I tested in the past. Very few times I get this weird behavior when cranking up the resolution. So yeah. It happens, and I say so yeah a, a lot, I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Anyways, cambié la vista y colocar en el asiento del chofer, dale. Let's change the viewpoint, is there? Okay, let's see if I change the viewpoint, it seems to be the same. Here I get 33, there's no glass, no, no tiene vidrio, así que creo que por eso no caen los FPS, pero... Guys, if you're using the first person camera, it doesn't seem to change. That much, actually. So let's do 4K now. Use FPS monitor, I think it's better than MSI Afterburn. It's not better, I tried it. It has less things, I think, if I'm remembering correctly. But I'm not downloading a separate program right now. Let's now do 4K, now that we're here. 4K Ultra settings first. Let's kill the GPU a little bit. So, okay, I can already see the cinematic 24 FPS <laughs> at 4K highest settings, which was to be expected, really. This is 4K. Alright, so, ultra settings 4K. Let's go. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> oh, hang on. I forgot to change the status. Hang on, guys. This is 4K, not 1440p. So, 4K resolution. Sí, vidrio lluvia, voy a probar eso más tarde. Okay, so 4K highest settings, 24 FPS. So, do not even try ultra settings. Let's uh, tweak it a little bit. I'm going to remove the camera for a second so you can see the options menu. Geometry on high, shadows on high, volumetrics on high, uh, global illumination on high. And that should give us 30 frames. Let's see. 29, 30. 29. Okay, let's do everything on high then. Let's see it now. 31, 30, 32. Okay, fair enough. Let's try to keep it on high and let's see what happens. So high settings 4K. <laughs> yeah, 24 FPS, just like the movies. Yeah, true. Okay, so high settings 4K instead of ultra. Ultra kills the performance on all cars I tested. And we're getting, okay, 30 frames per second, not that bad. Probably when it's rainy and we have a glass in front of us in first person, like this, if we had a, a glass, we're going to probably drop below 30. But we're going to trade that out in a second. I wanted to test the races first. So, very interesting. On high settings, 4K, you can do 30 frames per second. I think for a 2060, considering how it run, it's not that bad. Oh, my cat arrived. Get away, cat. Not a, not a good time. I'm live streaming, cat. Yeah, gotta love animals, but at the same time, they don't know when it's a good time to ask for pets. So, <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, on high settings, you're getting basically 30 frames. Yeah, the entire PC is going to burn down like this. But hey. It works. Let's try lowest settings 4K now. Let's see if we can get we can get at least 60s on the lowest. Let's let's pray to the gods of thunder. Yeah, it's pretty nice considering what I've been getting on the other cards. 4K high settings 30 frames. I think it's pretty good on the 2060. Considering again the numbers I got before on the other cards. As long as you're not doing ultra, you should be alright in this game. Let's see, 4K lowest settings. Yeah, we're not getting 60 frames anytime soon, which is fine. I mean, whatever. I wasn't expecting 4K 60s on a 2060. We want to see the cat. Well, you're going to see it at the end of the live stream. Do not worry. So, you're not doing 4K 60, which is fine. It's a 2060. I can handle it. Maybe with the variable rate shading, where we get that patch. 
we're going to get an improvement. But I, I guess 4K, if we want to do 4K, do 30 frames per second. So, wonderful. So let's go back to high. Really no reason to use ultra low if you're not getting 60s. So high, 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 high. Everything on high and we're going to now try some rainy stages, cars with windows, so windshield reflections, all that good stuff. Let's stress test it. So we're going to go back to the menu. This is now high settings 4K. So high settings 4K on a 2060 and we're going to select the same location this time with heavy rain and the cars will be Rally GT so they have a, a windshield. Excellent. Let's see if we can maintain 30 in the worst case scenario. The worst case scenario is rain, reflections and first person because we are looking behind the glass with rain at the same time. First in third person they were doing first person. So in third person, we're getting basically 30 frames right now. We'll see once we get to the mud. The mud is going to kill the performance, probably. Let's see. Come on, mud. Show up. The mud will be interesting. As you can see, I'm a terrible driver. Okay, here's the mud. Okay. 30 frames per second. There was a stutter there that drops us to 29. But, yeah, only one hiccup so far. Some trees now. Okay, with the trees, we drop into the upper 20s. So probably we need to lower geometry a little bit. But now we're at 30 again. So probably with the cars on screen, plus the trees, plus the grass. That killed the frame rate. But, yeah, mostly over 30. So not that different. Let's try now on first person. First person is first person. Let's try that out. Can you try a 1050 Ti one day? I already did. You can find that live stream in my channel. Let's see. First person on a car with rain and the windshield in front of us. Let's see if that kills the performance. We should be dropping into the 20s when we get to the trees. But hey. Let's give it a try. This should be the worst case scenario so far. Cars on screen. Rain. Mud. Reflections. Alright, yeah, 30 frames per second. Here we drop to 29 like before. And once we get to the trees, we should drop to 27, 26. Okay, it's better than before. We stayed at 30 frames. So, yeah, guys, even in the worst case scenario, 4K 30 seems to hold up just fine. Some drops into the 20s in third person with rain, with grass, trees. But overall, seems to be okay, even with the worst uh, weather conditions. So, good job, I would say. <laughs> not getting good job, I mean, by not destroying the performance on rainy stages. Pretty good, pretty surprised, really. I was expecting 20 FPS at 4K with reflections and stuff. We just lost, lost like 2 or 3 FPS over the non-rainy stages. So, pretty surprised, really. I was expecting a lot worse at 4K. Yeah, interesting. Pretty good. Current gen consoles runs it at 30. I don't know how the consoles run it at the moment, the current gen. I'm going to look that up. Be patient. <laughs> We're going to look at that after this race is over. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised. I'm the last. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm not paying attention to the race. I'm paying attention to the frame rates. That's why I'm pretty bad at the game. Because I'm not really <laughs> racing, I'm just driving. <laughs> Which is completely different. I was looking at the frame rate counter, that's why. I was doing autopilot. You have triple fan and I'm okay. If you overclock, you're okay. Okay. Yeah, you're going to get a, a an FPS boost if you do an overclock. But it's not going to be the difference between 20 frames and 40. Ja I mean, you're not getting that big of a boost, come on. At most you're getting 5 or 6 FPS in the best cases with an overclock. Anyways, race is over. The game does have ray tracing. No, let me grab the cat. Oh, hello, kitty. Yeah, I love you. Here's the... Whoa. 
chill, man, chill. Here's my cat. This is Nasa, Nazareno. We call, I call him Nasa. As you can see, I have a black cat, like the character in Spider-Man. Hello, kitty. I love you so much. He's invisible, as you can see, because super dark fur. But hey, let's look at the um, at the performance in the consoles. So we go back here. Uh, Dirt five. Dirt five PS4 performance. All right. Um, let's see. Thank you to Moto Games. TV for this footage. So let's see image quality and not I want performance. Alright, alright. On PS4 it has an image quality mode at 30 frames per second. And on the and there's a frame rate mode that runs at 60. Interesting. There's an ad. Wait one second guys. Stealth cat, yeah, it's super stealthy. As you can see, you only see two eyes floating in the air. All right, so I do not have ad block. I just didn't watch the, the ad, but the ad happened. So there is a 30 frames per second mode on PS4 and a 60 frames per second mode on PS4 Pro. On PS4 Pro, uh, the same happens, yeah. A 60 frames mode and a 30 frames mode. So they messed up the PC version, apparently. So how unfortunate. So the cat is leaving now. El gato está bloqueado, sí, por supuesto que sí. Obviamente. Of course, the cat is overclocked. Come on, I overclock everything. So, hang on, guys. So here's the video I've been watching. Holy hell, I'm terrible at using a PC now. Hang on. So, guys, if you wanted to see the video I was watching, here it is. This is the video where it tells the performance of the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. So yeah, that was Dirt 5 on the 2060. We did 1080p, 1440p and 4K. I was surprised to be able to do 4K, 4K 30 and 1440p and 1080p 60. So yeah, yeah, it has a 60 frames mode on base PS4. Yeah, I was surprised to see that considering the numbers I saw today on the 1050Ti. I'm super shocked that a PS4 can get 60s. I don't know the resolution, but uh, on the 750Ti to get 60 frames, you need 720p low settings. And if you use the 570, you can use medium to low for 1080p 60. So yeah, guys, it doesn't have RTX, but I'm going to end the live stream now. So thank you so much for watching. 60 FPS, 4K and PS5. Yes, I think so. It doesn't have ray tracing though. So keep that in mind. Yeah, it's like a 30 second delay between me and you guys, so <laughs> do not worry. Yeah, the cat, the cat works in NASA, yeah, of course. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this shorter live stream. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did playing the game. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Love you all. Bye bye. See ya.